Oh. Put the camera, girly. You see yourself? So we had a super duper exhausting day today. We had our dollar sale at our store. Um, we actually was able to make about double what I thought I was going to. So tomorrow, uh, we're going to do dollar sale again. So I'm going to run over to the store. I'm going to try to get some stuff together. I'm going to show you all the aftermath of the dollar sale. If you want to see me setting up for the dollar sale, uh, jump over to my other channel, which is palletjacking, uh, youtube.com slash palletjacking, and you will be able to see that video. So let's go over to the store. So the sale was actually pretty successful today. I was a little nervous about it because it's the first time we've had like a bunch of people in the store all at one time. I was nervous about um, the COVID-19 and uh, how many people was gonna be in the store. And you know, I, I wanted to do social distancing and our store is not very big. So, you know, we can't really fit a lot of people in there. So I actually came up with uh, five people can be in a store all you know at one time and it actually worked out pretty good i used a um an app so that only five people could make a uh, appointment in you know 30 minute increment so it was actually pretty successful we had the first wave come in and then as those people were leaving we had a second wave come in and as those people was leaving we had a third wave uh come in so we actually did pretty good so by the time it got to noon now we started at 10 and by the time that we got to noon, uh, we had pretty much sold out of, of about like 75% of the stuff that we had in the store, which is really good. So we're gonna do it again tomorrow. I'm gonna go over to the store and just kind of reset uh, some stuff. I'm not gonna be over here for long because it's kind of getting late. I wanna fly my drone. So let's see if we can get the drone up in there. So it is pretty barren here after our dollar sale. Uh, I'm gonna put some pictures of what the <laughs> what the shelves look like before the dollar sale, but we got rid of a lot of stuff. You know, that all this stuff up here was like super full. That was super full. Um, this was super full. We still got some stuff on the table. I kind of replenished the stuff. Uh, reset for tomorrow. That's pretty empty and bare over there in that corner is uh it's pretty bare still got some stuff in there but i'm gonna try to clean all that stuff up it was very interesting because we got this box right here in a general merchandise palette and it we paid like one dollar for this box or one or two dollars whatever it was um we just counted this whole box is like one item and uh this was like completely full to the brim with stuff and it's half full now so uh we made quite a bit of money from this box that we only paid you know one two or three dollars for it uh so i'm going to give you a little tutorial on the square terminal so the square terminal is something that i didn't think that i was going to use all the time or <clears throat> i didn't really have any idea how useful it was before we uh got it and i looked on youtube and there wasn't a lot of youtube videos that was that had featured the square terminal um so i'm going to give you a little preview of how we use the square terminal and how it could be beneficial to you and your business especially if you have inventory or if you have a store even if you don't have a store uh, you can still use the square terminal uh, to do point of sale um, stuff so let's go into the terminal itself so this is the main screen now we have the um, the receipt printer and we also have a scanner um, and we have the card reader and we have the cash register. So we have the whole set, and I'll put a link to it in the uh, description section below uh, each individual piece if you wanna get uh, the whole thing. So 
the main screen of this is actually an iPad and the iPad has to be I believe the 9.7 inch iPad so I made the mistake of trying to use one that I already had and uh, <laughs> and I had to take it back because it's the wrong one so we turn it on the main screen it has um, just your items you can go in and you can um, change this first screen to put everything you know if you want to have something specific on here you can change it and we'll get into that here in just a minute um, but I'm just gonna give you the main features uh, the next one is orders um, so if you do online sales um, if you have a store which you can set up a store through Square and your store uh, orders online will come through on your register so you can go over here you can see what uh, orders you have if it's been picked up um, like that one right there has been picked up but and it's gone now uh, so you can make invoices um, so we've done invoices especially in the store if somebody sees something on Facebook and says you know hey I, I want to purchase this item um, but I won't be able to pick it up to tomorrow you can just send them an invoice they can pay for it and then boom they pay for it and you can give it to them uh, whenever they can get it so that's a pretty cool feature transactions um, so this kind of goes through and shows all of the transactions that you've had through your point of sale so as you can see through here we've uh, got all of the sales that we had like today which is quite a bit um, yesterday and then we haven't been open much so the last sale that we had um, before that was the 14th and then on the 6th and and it goes all the way back so you can go and see your sales from a long time ago and everything is captured within this device um, so the next one is the reports this is the the thing that I like I like looking at data and looking at uh, different things like that so right now I always saw my cash register out with $75 I got that from Taco Bell. I don't know why, but I put $75 in here and then anything over that is going to be what we take out and deposit into our bank. So as you can see right here, we started the drawer over at um, 6 or at 1.38 p.m. And then we've only had one sale uh, since then. So in our drawer right now, we've got that cash in there along with $75. Now you can end the drawer and once you click the end drawer button, um, what it actually do is it will allow you to put in how much was actually in the drawer and it'll tell you what the difference plus or minus um, or if it's right on what it should be and it'll print you out a handy uh, receipt which I don't have right here but it'll print you out a little receipt and say you know for your records this was this drawer is cashed out on this day and this is how much was in there um, also you can um, put money in or take money out if you need to by clicking the pay in and out button um, you can look at the drawer history and see um, when the last time you've closed out drawers. I don't know how many it gives you, so right now it's just showing three, but I know I've done it more times than that. You can go to sales and it gives you your gross sales, your net sales, your average sale price, um, how many total sales you had, um, your returns, your discounts, um, and different things like that. And it kind of gives you a really cool bar graph uh, here. So one of the uh, neatest things especially when our store had first opened and we was getting a lot of customers in here we could see like the growth so like if you go to the last three months you'll see exactly how much we made inside the store in the last three months now mind you <laughs> we've been closed for a long time so our sales haven't been much but you can kind of see uh, a, a graph of how much we sold so it's very telling um to see you know how profitable your store is or how profitable your business is uh by looking on this of course this doesn't include online sales or anything like that but this is just in-store sales so if you look at it um so for the last three months which we've been closed for the last two months uh we made thirteen hundred and twenty one dollars sixty five cents but if you look at the previous three months before that um it was quadruple that it was four thousand four hundred and sixty seven dollars uh, that we made in those three months and that was the first three months that we opened up the uh, store so it kind of gives you some statistics and different things uh, like that it also tells you how much money you made in cash versus how much money you made in cards uh, it tells you how much you paid in fees um, so you do have to pay a fee for them to process credit cards um, the fee is um, I'm not sure but it's a it's a flat fee for each um, payment and it's not much like you can see right here we pay eleven dollars for having a thousand dollars uh worth of sales so that's that wasn't a big deal um also this is one of the really cool things that i like about the square terminal is that you can make categories and you can go in here and say okay so we're doing a dollar sale i want to make each individual item um 
just one item but a dollar sale but I can go in and I can track how much we sold through the dollar sale so you can see right here we sold five hundred and thirty nine dollar sale items now we also had some five dollar ten dollar twenty dollar stuff that's in a separate um, category but just specifically for the dollar sale stuff we sold five hundred and thirty nine items so that was pretty cool to see um, you can also just set different categories so especially when we get pallets in um, you can you know do electronics palette you can do a target palette um, you can see on here like I put JC Penney um, this we pay 650 Warren retail um, that palette we you know if you code each individual item in a group um, you can kind of track your palettes through this software um, so then disputes that's just if anybody disputes a purchase um, so you can go to your balances so this is if you uh, allow people to pay with the credit card or if you have the card reader um, this is where the credit card payments are housed um, so you can do refunds from here uh, and you can also do an instant transfer so what that does is it instantly transfer that credit card money to your bank account that you have on file you can also get a square card I just we just transfer it to our bank account and it's the the fee is very minimal so we just go ahead and transfer it um, then you can also see your customer so what this actually does is it pulls um, from the people's credit card information uh, it pulls their name so you have a list of customers and if they purchase online um, they can put in their email address they can put in their cell phone number um, it sends them a receipt to their cell phone um, if they would like that and this is a really good way to have a customer database especially so you can put faces with names and different things like that um, so this is the items uh, thing so I can do a whole video on how to put items in here uh, it's very easy I mean you just go in here basically and push create item and you can put the name you can put how many options or if it's in a separate category that's why I was telling you, you can put like you know electronics box or uh, a palette that you got from target or target palette or a Home Depot palette or whatever it is you can put uh, add a category in for that um, you can put the price for each one of them how much you got and the SKU so we tried to put everything in here with the SKU if we we're going to put it on the shelf and sell it so that way we can scan it and it'll automatically take it out of the uh, inventory uh, but also what that does is we can um, put these items on our website because this links directly to the website the photo the UPC code and the stocking level and the price all that syncs to the website so it's in real time if somebody buys it in a store it pulls it off the website so um, <clears throat> also you can go in here and put you know what the sale sales tax is and um, it, it makes it easy for you to remit tax because you can just click on sales tax and tells you exactly how much that those items were um, you can also add services so I made a service the other day because I was going to try to do the dollar sale um, where people could like book times to come in here but I couldn't get it to work right so I'm not going to endorse that feature of the square um, you can go to the settings and it just kind of goes through um, all the different settings I'm not going to go too much into the settings one cool thing that I do like about the square terminal is you can also clock in and out so if you are um, tracking your employees or if you're tracking your time at your store or within your business you can do that through the square terminal and um, you can go easily on here and add uh, employees and you can see how long they was here and they can just clock in and out uh, straight through here and you can print out reports and different things like that so um, I don't think it goes in and calculates like paychecks or anything like that but you can get the actual time amount of hours and minutes uh, that people were clocked in and out um, they will they do have some accessories that you can connect um, you can connect the card reader uh, square stand which is this is what you're looking at right now a printer a cash drawer a barcode scanner and a scale if you uh, need to weigh things also you can add your bank account information your business information and where your transfers goes so that's the pretty pretty much the overview of the system uh, I'll do a deep dive into the system at some point um, where I'll show you exactly how to do specific stuff within the square terminal so if you want to see that video uh, just put a comment down in the comment section below uh, what kind of feature you want to see uh, of this square terminal if you have any specific questions about the square terminal itself I can go through and answer that
Alexa, turn on living room lights. Okay. So that is all I want to show you guys today. I really hope you got some kind of value uh, out of this video. Uh, one thing to remember if you are going to try the Square Terminal is it's free. Um, so it doesn't cost anything for you to try it out. Um, you can download it on Android. You can download it on iOS. You can also pull it up on your iPad. You pull it up on your computer. So it has like integration across all of these different devices. Um, it's pretty funny because today when I was doing a dollar sale, my sister April was at uh, work and she was just refreshing the page to see how much, you know, how many sales we had. So it's really cool. Um, if you are doing Facebook marketplace and you're selling things and um, you know, you're getting cash payments, you can still go in there and input that you are getting, receiving a cash payment and it'll kind of help you with um, managing your money uh, and also managing your inventory. So check it out. I put a link to uh, the square down at the bottom and uh if you want to check it out check it out let me know how you like it uh if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe i really appreciate it um uh, hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever i release new videos i don't know why i don't film upstairs uh, a lot more um but one reason is is I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.